Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to our daily devotion insight. I want to share with a devotion today entitled New Creation. New Creation. 2 Peter 1 3 says, His divine power has given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness. Through the knowledge of Him who called us by glory and virtue. You know, living in the post Garden of Eden, Eden's world, a world that labors and groans as it awaits its renewal. In Romans chapter 8, verses 19 to 22, it says so. We sometimes forget that we are a new creation in Christ, according to 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Paul used of the word creation in that verse, follow his light to shine out of darkness phrase in 2 Corinthians 4, verse 6. Another reference to creation. Now, in spite of our living in a fallen world, we live in an Eden-like relationship with God. We are not deprived of what we need. Though times are bad today, and not as good as it used to be, but there is never a lack in God for us. In spite of the tension, sin present a presence in the world. We have been given all things that pertain to life and godliness through Christ. In spite of the power of darkness being present, God's light, just as in Genesis, has been made to shine in our heart. There is always a conviction, there's always a reminder, there's always the tugging and the knocking at the door of our heart by the Holy Spirit that's saying to you and I, Hey, I am with you. I'm able to do great things in you. You're able to stand up strong. You get able to be firm in God. You are able to be faithful and committed and not allow sin to control or darkness to control you and me. In spite of the evil one being present, Jesus came to give us abundant life. In John 10, verse 10, the Bible says the thief came to what? Rob, kill, and to destroy. But Jesus came that you may have life and life abundant. That's the wonderful thing about having Jesus in our heart as a God and personal Savior. In spite of all the struggles, in spite of all the challenges, in spite of all the difficulties and obstacles in life, you and I can rise up and be strong because He lives in us. Amen. In moments where you feel limited or constrained in this world, remember that you are a new creation in Christ. Our only constraint is the limits of our faith. Faith where we dare not believe the Lord for great things, dare not believe amazing things, dare not believe impossible things for our life and situations to happen. That's the only limit we can do. It can happen to us. If you dare not believe, you are limiting God. If you dare not reach out and trust God, you are limiting God. When you dare not believe God for the a pos- a God to come true in your time of impossibility, you are limiting God. Your faith and your belief limits God. You are a new creation, remember, in Christ. Trust and believe God for greater things for yourselves in your life. Amen. In spite of all, believe Him. He has great plan for you. Amen. So God bless you and have a great day. Father, bless your people with a great day in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessings.